On a spring day, the air is filled with the sounds of songbirds. But at night, nature plays a different tune. The spring rains have awakened our local tree frogs from their long winter slumber, and they are out in force to sing and look for a mate. Like birds, each tree frog has a distinctive call to attract females to breeding areas. Our smallest tree frog is a spring peeper, so named because their jingle bell-like call marks the arrival of spring. The key identifying feature of this small tree frog is the X on its back. Like all the tree frogs, they have toe discs that allow them to live in the trees, although peepers are more at home amid the loose debris of the forest floor. Spring peepers are often heard, but seldom seen. And even though they are small enough to sit on top of a quarter, their deafening peeps measure close to 90 decibels. That's about as loud as a motorcycle, making it one of the loudest creatures for its size on the planet. But how do they make such a racket? The bubble you see is a frog's vocal sac. It's filled with air and acts as a resonating chamber to amplify the sound they make. Peepers close their nostrils and mouths and squeeze their lungs. This causes a vocal sac to inflate like a balloon. The peeping sound happens as air passes over the vocal cords and into the vocal sac. Watch and listen. The gray tree frog is a bit larger, and its call is a slow, musical trill. They can change color from gray to green or brown, depending on the activities and the environment. The bright dandelion-colored yellow skin on the inside of its legs, thought to scare predators, is another way to identify this frog. It is well camouflaged for a summer spent foraging and sleeping in the trees. The gray tree frog has particularly large toe pads, which allow it to move about in the trees with ease. Just look at how well they blend in with their surroundings. All amphibians need water for breeding. In shallow waters attached to vegetation, fertilized eggs will hatch into tadpoles and change into young frogs, a process called metamorphosis. A gray tree frog lays as many as 2,000 eggs. The tadpoles hatch in five days and will change into froglets in about two months. Peepers lay up to 1,200 eggs, and depending on the temperature, eggs can take up to two weeks to hatch and another six to 12 weeks to transform into frogs. The preserves of Wissahickon trails provide crucial habitat for these frogs and other amphibian species. Be sure to listen for them when you walk our trails. And you never know, you may even hear them in your own backyard. We think tree frogs are terrific, and we're pretty sure you do too. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks to our supporters who help us protect these terrific creatures.